My name is Ifi Adibeli and I'm a Nollywood actress producer. It hasn't really been easy, but I started when I was 16. I did a movie for every shows I come Lagos. I did a dancing scene and I was paid 4,000 naira. So I thought if I do more, I'll make more money. So I started going for auditions. <laughs> I went for auditions for one year and no jobs. So the day I decided that I'll stop going for audition and then pick up a form and go to school. That was when I had my first major lead role. Um, it's titled um, Sound of War. Yes, Sound of War. I played the lead role with Obukoye, Fergie Leonard, and a whole lot of people in the movie. It was a wonderful script and I was glad I did that story because that was like a big one for me. And then I started producing two years ago. I did my first movie, Flash of Pain, produced by me. Starred um, Chingu Talago, Somadi Nadima, Messi Magjo, and Sheon Akindeli. I started in it too. It was a wonderful story, directed by Ima Ayanka. And it was really big for me. I was really happy I did that one. <laughs> for me, it has been because I thought if I do more, I'll make more money. So I'll say it's for the money. Yeah, I had the passion when I started doing it. It was fun. It's always fun to, to face camera. It's always fun to, to be on set with different people. It's fun to actually um, live other people's life. And I became more interested when I can actually interpret other people's story. Like, I want to tell everyone, okay, this is it. Where other people shoot and tell the whole okay this is how you feel so i became more interested in it and that's why i'd be like okay let me produce let me tell more stories and then i enjoy doing movies with young people those ones who are really young teen story i really enjoy making movies with them because i started as a young girl and um i know what it means the stress of i'm going to auditions the stress of okay i want to act the whole stress in it I passed through it so I felt okay I want to produce not because um, I want to do anything but you know help people and at the same time make money stressful you know sometimes I become the producer actress set design I'm everything because it's my job and I want everything to fall in place so I'll be like hey Ify, you okay yourself one day but trust me I'm a strong woman <laughs> I push through and <laughs> I do it and at the end of the day it comes out really beautiful. Well, if I wasn't an actress, producer, I would have become a lawyer. I really wanted to become a lawyer. I don't know, I have this thing of, you know, I'm not really this big, big, big kind of girl. I'm not so big. I'm kind of not so, so big. So I feel a lot of people want to you know, press a girl down and be like, hey, you a girl, just shut up and sit down. So I've always wanted to have this power, this boss lady power and be like, no, you can't do this to a girl and just walk away. a lot every man for his own like me I I think if you we has um, look through your mirror like you said always look through your mirror to act but I, I, I think every day it's, it's acting for me every day my normal life is acting it's just because I don't have a script and I feel like oh I'm not acting but every day life is acting for me every day is acting so I put myself like okay hey babe this is you acting life is even like a movie um, whatever happens is a movie, so it's just to put yourself and say, hey, yes, I'm acting. So I feel as an actress um, or actor, you just have to um, get ready, try to be any anybody, and then do it. Gosh, I tried, oh, I tried my best. But my dear, I cannot be jack of all trades. <laughs> I can't be everything. But I tried, it didn't work. I won't even push it. I won't try it next time. I keep it producer actor i try to make friends with them because you know if you're not friends with them you can't have a good job so i keep the relationship really um i call you for jobs say hello to you when i see you you know just keep that mutual relationship actor producer and getting better it gets better every day because um i buy tickets go to the cinema and i watch some movies i'm like wow well done so we're, we're doing real good we're doing good because i see a lot of beautiful stories every day um, I see some nice making every day. I watch it and I'm like, yes, we're trying likes of um, other big directors that are very good in their craft. Um, Vincent the Anointed is this person I respect so much. He's a wonderful director. He's really, really good. So when I watch his movie or um, see his stories, I'm like, wow, this is big. Uh, a whole lot of them. 
Kule Afalayo, you know, Genevieve, a whole of them. I really respect them. They're doing good. Um, working on the new movie, but it's going to be um, at the end of the month. It's titled 13 but 30. Well, a story is like an illusion. It's <laughs> I don't know these days. I like to tell stories like that. But the story is really good and we're still working on it. Don't want to leak anything out yet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, a lot of people say I'm gaining more weight, so I think it's my fat buddy. <laughs> I don't have a selling point. It's too bad for me. I guess you all don't know that I eat my nails. <laughs> so I have to fix all the time to cover up for it. And two, so I don't go out when I'm broke. Mm -mm. Yeah, there's sometimes you get really broke. When I'm broke, I sit indoor all days and I don't take calls. Yeah. Um, I think I don't know how to dance. Um, what else? What else? What else? Nothing serious to tell you. <laughs> Nothing serious to tell you. Nothing. <laughs>